this reaction is is different. I mean, this is just more climactic, way oversold. We get some testing action. We come to this first resistance, inability to react. I mean, we just shrugged it off. And then we come up to here, you know, and, and, and around here. There's just an inability to react. If I'm looking at this as a really good, true change of behavior. Really nice. We're breaking the stride of the channel. Yes, this is climactic. There is still a lot of selling. All eyes were, maybe for lower prices, would be poor rally to here, but then hold here, maybe continue down for a week. Or some kind of slanting, maybe reaccumulation, or something along those lines for higher prices. But this V-spike and the way that we are smashing through resistance levels and the inability to react. I mean, look at this. Buying, rest. Buying, rest. Buying, rest. It's uncanny. This is incredibly strong, much, much stronger than this over here. But this is the worst attempt. Look at every test, good bar. Test, good bar. Test, that's the poorest bar. Now we have two days of going sideways, which is retracing into 50% of the bar. We've only retraced into the top, what, 10% of the bar, 15% of the bar. So something is definitely different up here, which we haven't seen since down here. And where are we? Near the all-time high, and this original kind of breakdown bar takes us into these lows. So we are in an incredibly important area. And this, as I've just stated, is the worst bar out of this whole move. And the testing is the worst as well. From the daily time frame, if I was to have a bias, because of this being the weakest analogue, and this is the weakest testing we've seen, like even here, this is the first down bar after the worst up bar, I would be expecting a reaction of source. 